Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a pick a card, an 18 plus pick a card. So if you're not 18 plus, please click off this video now. So we have four groups here. We're gonna be looking to all about the next person that you're gonna be intimate with, with lots of love information and just information about where you're at right now in your love life and who this person is. And we're gonna be concentrating on the most authentic person. No fuck boys, no fuck girls, no kind of people who are gonna mess you around, just really authentic connections. So it could be a partner, it could be, you know, you're like maybe on your first date or something, you know, it could be anyone. So we'll see who it is and we'll have a look. So we have four groups here. We have group number one with the white heart. Group number two with the clear quartz heart, group number three with the rose quartz heart, and group number four with the uh, citrine heart. So please choose your group now. All my rates and my crystal shop are below as usual. So let's get started with group number one and let's see the next person you're gonna be intimate with. So let's go. Hello group number one. So as you guys are the first group, I'm just going to incense and to cleanse your energy, cleanse these beautiful crystals and your cards and put the intention out there that it's going to be a really authentic connection, someone who understands you, someone who appreciates your body and your mind and your spiritual soul and everything like that. A little cleanse, beautiful. Okay, so let's get started with your reading, guys. So group number one. So you guys chose you a lovely little white agate heart. Okay, so we're going to start off with your oracle cards. And then we'll have a look into your tarot. So oracle cards, I have chosen some cards for assistance in your love life. And then we're going to have a look at the certain person that's going to be coming in. So the first card out, boundaries, lovely. So where do you need to establish better boundaries? We then have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? We have a dream. So you could be having some dreams about this person. They could be coming in into your dreams before you actually meet them. And then we have the eagle, ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. We have the flamingo, unity heart. You're being called to work on collective healing. I love this blue and this pink together, that's so pretty. And then we have soul tribe, it's safe to be seen. Okay, so the main thing I'm focusing on is the animals, first of all. So like I said, we're gonna look into your love life and your general energy, and then we'll have a look into the person. I wanna get a grip on kind of what's going on with your life first. So with dreams, it says, when you look for the deeper meaning within dreams, you uncover a part of yourself, your psyche. Information about yourself and others may un be uncovered that goes ignored in waking life. Unra unravel, navigate, and recall. This reminds me of shadow work as well. A lot of you guys have been doing some shadow work. This reminds me of like, your dreams are going to be recalling people you may have been intimate with before, people you may have had sex with and people you may be, you know, have been intimate with. And it feels to me like the person you're going to be with next is going to be going to be a long term romantic partner, which I think is going to be for a lot of these groups. This person is very mature. They can be at the most 10 years older than you. They feel like uh, they feel like an old soul. So they could be very similar to you if you're an old soul. And the reason why they're coming through in your dreams is because they're clear, they're helping you to clear out any kind of, any negative energies around people that no longer need to be there basically. So you're being called to work on collective healing and your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. There's a lot of healing going on. So you can manifest your person, I feel, through your soul tribe. There's going to be a group of people that are going to support you and this is gonna be the person that comes in. This person has definitely dealt with an identity crisis. They might have very strong air qualities. They might have really strong Gemini. And they've definitely suffered with kind of uh, being the, the protector. They're a very protective person. They want to help people and protect them um, because they're very caring. And there's somebody who is gonna really respect your body. They're gonna question like, why have you not met sooner it's like they're going to ask you like how are you still single like not in a way that's like oh my god you know like not in a way that's like hearing like the word derogative like not in a way that's like oh my god i can't believe you're still single it's like you because they realize how amazing you are they're like oh my god how are you still single so we have soul tribe it's safe to be seen your quest your journey right now is to realize how you can be seen in your world and how you can be seen by yourself 
is to have extremely strong boundaries and to answer the call. And I like how these are all connecting together. This is a very strong omen for you. This is about not blending in. Blending in when you feel drawn to do that, but more about kind of standing out and being delib like deliberately standing out. I'm hearing don't coil yourself, don't like your tail is coiling. So don't coil yourself. And it's basically like this person, this woman here, she's observing. She's not getting too involved with all the drama. So if there's any dramatic person that wants to come into your life and fuck it up, then it's really important to answer the call where you're being really aware of what you're contributing to this connection. So if there's any like dramatic things going on, I feel like it's really important to recognize when that's happening and to come away from it because you're not going to get a sustainable sex life or a sustainable relationship from someone like that. And if it is a sex life, it'll be quite a traumatic one and that's not something we're looking for here. There's definitely a need for you to slow down and focus on what lights you up. Like what are the sort of things where you feel, what part of your life or what have you done in your life that's made you feel really accepted and people are seeing you for who you are? That's definitely something that you're looking at. And it's all to do with nature and scenery and observing. So the more you observe your thoughts, the easier it's going to be to kind of figure out, oh, okay, maybe I'm kind of self-sabotaging in that area. But you'll definitely have, you've definitely done a lot of healing and you've definitely done a lot of um, create, creating around your past. Like you've been looking into it, you've been diving deep and you're definitely someone who could easily do uh, soul healing like uh, for others, for other people. You could help um, ancestors pass over. You could be somebody who works with collective healing. And if you are somebody who's very sensitive, which I do feel like you are, the last thing you want is loads of people having access to you. So the next person you're going to be intimate with is going to be someone who you're in a relationship with, or you might date for a while, and then you're going to be in a relationship with them because it's somebody who's going to be there for the full hog, like for full on, they're going to be there for the whole time. So they're not going to be somebody who's going to, you know, fuck and leave, basically. Um, eat, shoots and leaves. <laughs> um there's that joke about panda because they eat shoots and leaves um so okay so what i'm feeling for you guys is there might be a couple of things that you can incorporate into your love life right now to manifest the right type of person first of all is having a strong awareness of when you're adding drama to a connection so maybe you need to cut some ties maybe you need to be aware of uh what you're surrounding yourself in your environment is your environment quite messy right now do you need to sage your energy do you need to put some crystals around you and also recognizing <coughs> that you might not be a lot like your family and you might feel very very different and there's definitely a lot of strong omens around birds in this group so look out for very strong omens around birds maybe birds of prey and things like that depending on what country you're in and I'm hearing don't suffocate yourself. Like I'm getting really <clears throat> drawn to the environments and there's a lot of like hot kind of uh, environments here. And I'm seeing that you can now stand the heat. Like you're not kind of um, pulling away from things that are heated. Like you're, you're sitting in there and you're okay with it. The person you're going to meet I'm seeing is going to be a Pisces um, or a Virgo. They're very, very gentle and sensitive. Like they're not somebody who has any narcissistic tendencies or anything like that. That it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like that. They feel like somebody who wants the best for you, which is really beautiful. I find that really lovely. Okay, so let's get you some more cards. So we're going to have a look into uh, your intimacy with this person. Actually, do you want to look into intimacy or do you want to look into who they are first? I'm not sure. Astrology? No, okay, we'll have a look into the tarot first. Have to have a little think about that. All right, so... Your card that you chose is the world. Lovely. All right. So major, major changes in your sex life. This isn't somebody who you've met. You don't know this person. They are a surprise, basically. So you can get really excited about that. There's somebody who's very strong uh, physically and mentally. There's somebody who they see you as somebody they want to have a potential long-term relationship with and it's not out of fear it's not out of loneliness I mean none of these things are bad but it's being it's a really conscious connection like it's really lovely so there's a lot of omens about animals so you could own a farm this person could be in a zoo they could be somebody who's like a national park kind of carer I can't remember what they're called right now but somebody who is um, looking after animals 
they are very caring. They're really good with animals. They're really good with animals in a state of panic, like like with vets and things like that. They're very good with that. So they're probably gonna be somebody who likes very strange animals or animals are just gonna absolutely love this person. And animals might be really drawn to you as well. So that's definitely something to look out for in terms of when this person comes in. And I have a dice and it's saying hug pets. It's a self-care uh, dice and it says hug pets. So your person is very, very close to connect to animals. Okay, so let's see about the intimacy and let's get a bit more detail on who this person is, possibly how they're entering your life and things like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm hearing is <clears throat> don't cover yourself up. Um, so this is to do with masking yourself. It could be literally covering your body, but it's like, I'm hearing like you want to be physical and then you turn the lights off so this person doesn't see your body. So you might have had a very uncomfortable time with your body. You might be thinking like, oh, I'm too tall, I'm too small, things like that. But remember, these are things that people have most likely projected onto you. So they're not really who you are. Your relationship to yourself and how you see yourself. Like if you see yourself as this beautiful goddess, then that's who you are. You know, it's, it's like it's all up to interpretation of who you are. Like if you know yourself... It doesn't matter what people think of you. So I'm seeing that it's been quite traumatic in your sex life. Um, it's been like really, really intense. So like I said, I feel like the best thing for you to do is wait until this person comes to you and then you'll know and then you get to choose whether you keep this person in your life. And I'm hearing you be careful of the drama. That is something that I want you to be very aware of in this connection. It's like, if there's any drama, that is not your person. Okay, so it's up to you whether you choose to have this person in your life or not. And this person will be the right one. So then that'll be the, the partnership that you choose. So when it comes to intimacy, this person's always on top of you. So if you're somebody who's a bottom, that's great. Um, I do feel like this person's on top of you a lot. There's somebody who uh, has very big muscles. They have a lovely skin tone. Like it's really, really, it's very pretty. It's kind of, I'm hearing very balanced skin tone. Like they don't have a lot of blotches or spots or anything like that. They have lovely skin. Um, they could be slightly tanned uh, or quite deeply tanned. I don't see them being um, of a dark ethnicity or like, sorry, like a dark skin color. But of course, if that's somebody you really, really are attracted to, then of course that could be somebody who you're attracted to. Just take it as it resonates. Every group is gonna be different, but I am focusing mainly on this guy's uh, skin tone and I keep picking up on this card and this card here. So that's kind of what I'm picking up on. So they could either have no hair or very thick hair. So if you're not interested in people with no hair, then obviously that's not gonna be your person. This person likes to accessorize, and when you're intimate, they like everything, they're, they're extremely caring about you. Like, they're like somebody who, they're always gonna to listen to you, they're always gonna be, answer, I'm hearing answering your calls, and I'm keeping up on animals, like animals are everywhere. Um, so I feel as if a lot of people haven't really seen you for who you are and this person's definitely going to see you. They're going to be really interested in what you're interested in. They're going to be interested in, in your past. They're going to ask you about your past and they're going to ask you like, you know, how's that affected you and what you've been through and things like that. Red is going to be a, a strong colour for you. I feel like red and kind of yellows and like emerald green really suits you, especially if you are a ginger or a blonde haired uh, person. And... I feel as if this person's gonna feel like find a light within you. And in terms of intimacy, they're not really giving me a lot of information. It feels very like romantic. I am feeling like a gap between you two though. It's like, this is you and this is them. There's a gap between you two. So you are struggling to kind of be intimate for quite a while and pick up on about two, maybe even six months before you are actually physical. And that's what suits you. That's what I'm feeling suits you. So we have the world, the nine of wands, the nine of cups, the ace of pentacles, the six of wands and the tower. So you can see this kind of this a little bit confusion here, like the nines and the sixes are always kind of about moving into something, but not fully ready for it. So I'm seeing that there's definitely about you finding security within yourself first. And that's how you're going to manifest this person. That's how you're going to carry this on and feel really good about it. And this girl's hair, there's something about the hair. You might have a fear of something about your hair. Um, you maybe you've had your hair trapped in something or something like that. So there might be something around your hair. I'm feeling that you have a lot of fear around intimacy with the physical body and emotionally. And there's an unraveling that needs to happen about you letting go of those layers. Like you're always protecting yourself. But remember, you can't open your heart if you're always protecting it. So there's a need for you to be brave and to kind of open yourself up. And that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm concentrating on this 
these cards where they're talking a lot because there's this kind of like, I need to talk to you about it before we go here. And it might be, maybe you've had something traumatic sexually. I don't, I'm not really picking up on anything too much, but I am feeling like a slowness. There needs to be a slowness about this connection, but it feels really nice. It's just, that's the way, that's your love life. That's how you've done it. And I feel like if you need to make any tweaks, don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to um, explore with this person. Don't be afraid to ask questions, to communicate. That's what it's all about. And I do feel like this is a very strong um, connection between both of you. And it's, it's somebody who you're going to be with for a long haul. I'm just seeing literally you and this person. No one else is getting involved. There's no other energies here, which I think is just so beautiful. And it's something that's needed for you because you've always put other people before you. There's a lot of earth around you guys. And that, that Ace of Pentacles um, was really coming up. Like I was really getting drawn to that one. So let's see. Okay, so yeah, definitely getting into your heart is gonna be the most important thing about this connection. So it's not just a physical connection. I want, I'm here, like I said, I want this these to be authentic connection and this is one. It is gonna take you a little while to manifest this person. I don't see you meeting them like straight away in terms of like, I don't know, the next couple of weeks. I'm hearing like around August or September could be within any year that you're watching this. So this person is learning to embrace their creativity, embrace their sexual power. They are more, if they are a male, they are more of, of a feminine male. If they're a female, they're more of a, well, no, I, no, I do feel like a feminine uh, female actually, and more of a feminine masculine. So there's a lot of feminine energy. So both of you are learning to be assertive. And this person is also learning to have the, the kind of their own life sort of thing. They're kind of learning to not put all their emphasis onto a partnership and that be their whole life like they're trying to balance that out because Taurus can be really about balance as well as Libra as Venus so it's very much like don't put all your eggs in one basket straight away that's why you're taking your time and it feels as if this person's really stable both of you are in a job of health or some sort of holistic even if you're not working right now that might be somewhere you're trying to go to or maybe in the future you might go into that and then we have Scorpio so they're most likely going to be a fixed sign we have three fixed signs here we have Taurus, Scorpio and Leo and I'm picking up on Pisces and Virgo as well. All right, let's get you some, <clears throat> let's get you some dice. Let's see any way of meeting this person. How will they meet their person? First house, Aquarius. I was thinking Aquarius actually and Saturn. Okay, so after a Saturn return, before, just before a Saturn return or after one. Um, so you can look at Saturn return calculators if you don't know how to get to that. Um, first house in Aquarius is basically you guys being really um, intimate with yourself like you're not going to feel any fear about the relationship apart from how to really interact with this person that's going to be the only sort of fear. Uh, first house Aquarius feels like you're going to start a group or be a part of a group and that could be how you meet your person but it's also I'm seeing it's a new type of relationship like this is this is somebody you meet after a lot of healing. Um, it's not going to be somebody who you rush into the connection with it's like it feels like you have to be patient, but I think you'll get to a point where you will be patient enough to not have to rush it. So where is group number one right now? I think this one. Lovely. So you're coming out of the darkness. You're coming out of a lot of healing in the future. Lovely. See, this is really interesting because both of these are in the dark and they're both air, but you can see the difference. Like the bat is all coming away from the moon and the firefly literally is the moon, like it's being lit up. So it's about you embracing all parts of you, even the parts of you that you don't like. That's how you're gonna be in the relationship. Your person's gonna be like, whoa, you are so intelligent, what the fuck? There's gonna be a lot of like talking sexually. You might have like a short like sex burst and then you like talk for a long time. It feels like you've got to get the layers off first. That's what I'm feeling. I mean, layers of clothes as well. <laughs> Let's have a look at this person. Yes, both of you are very, very similar. This is your person right now. So you're both kind of going through that kind of dark night of the soul kind of vibe. That's why it's really important to do this stuff before you get into a connection. But you can resolve this while you're in there too. So you're, you and your person are very like particular. You're very different to a lot of people. You don't really re relate to a lot of people around you. And that is going to be how you're sexually connected. Like your sex drive is going to be like, whoa, I want to meet this person. I want to be around this person. You are both absolutely fascinated by each other. They're definitely going to be about 10 years older than you. They've got a lot of wisdom. And they're going to be teaching you things and you're going to be teaching them things. And sexually, they're going to be more of the leader. You, this might be your first connection that you have intimately. That might be why as well. 
um, but also it might be you're learning how to be intimate again if you haven't been for a while. The Swan is absolutely gorgeous. This is such an authentic connection. Both of you are on the exact same path. There's going to be no kind of... Um, kind of like uncomfortableness it just feels like you both are literally on the same path like if this is any different like it, it wouldn't feel right so this is like both of you are going to be matched up straight away and this is a long-term connection like swans mate for life so that's that connection of re reinforcing the connection of like long term so i hope that resonates with you guys have a lovely day and rates my crystal shot are below and i'll speak to you soon Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the clear quartz little heart here. So let's get started with your reading. So we're going to have a look into the oracle cards first. As usual, I want to like make sure you guys manifest the best type of quality relationship, higher quality connection. So we're going to have a look into your love messages first, and then we'll have a look into who they are, how you're going to attract them, etc., etc. So all right so let's start off with the let's start off with these cards first okay we have share your voice come out your cave persecution and expression we have the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul drive that makes me feel very happy i love that that's i'm hearing a sixth sense like your person and your tribe are going to have a sixth sense it's very much like a collective consciousness kind of vibe like you're all on the same path beautiful all right, so I'm picking up on a very young group of people. So you could be quite young. You could be in your teens or, you know, between 20 and 30. That could be for some of you guys. Obviously, if you're not, then of course I am talking to you as well. But I'm just picking up on like a young vibe. If it's not about age, it's about your soul. Like you're all on the same page. I'm hearing same page, same age. So you're all in the same age as well. Okay, so yeah, this <laughs> is such a sensitive soul reading. I love it. Both, like both of you are going to be so ready to meet each other it's going to be really weird because you've never had this type of connection before where it's just authentic like you don't have to push this or force it so that's why a lot of you guys if I come across like a client and they're kind of getting really impatient about a partner I just say like focus on you like focus on what lights you up because there's obviously some healing that needs to happen or there's obviously some exploring of you that needs to happen before this connection can happen and it's okay to feel impatient if you want someone to love the first thing you, the best thing you should do is just do like love yourself i mean i was gonna, I was gonna say do yourself i mean you can if you want <laughs> but like love yourself because at the end of the day if no one's coming along then that's obviously a sign that you're meant to be focusing on you you know all right there we go there are no shadows without light so there's a very deep kind of hole i feel like you've been in for a while i'm picking up on 10 months so it could i'm feeling like the next 10 months or by like 10 months time or I just pick up on the number 10 like I'm seeing there's about 10 months time you could meet this person and you by doing shadow work it's going to help you clear a lot of the blockages that have caused you to attract some narcissistic people there's a big need for you to step back and focus on the bigger picture around your relationships and not focus solely on how you can control them or change them or change the person or you know what am I doing wrong etc etc it's really about you and your boundaries if you need to cut some cords fucking cut some cords okay because don't avoid that stuff that's really really important 100% if you're sensitive that is like the most important thing like we should have been taught this in school like it's literally just our energy is so important so when I say about energy I'm hearing your energy is really important especially with who you're intimate with I don't see any dramatic people coming in. You might have the occasional, I'm hearing drip, drip. <laughs> you might like, have people dripping in like who are dramatic, but I don't see you interacting with them. These are people from your past. They do feel like sexual partners. So they could be obviously the opposite gender or the same gender, um, but they're not friends. They would have been just intimate partners or, you know, people who you were sexually attracted to. And what I'm seeing is you might actually have someone come across you in your work or your job and they're like, oh my God. And they would have had a big awakening and you could actually, you know, have a conversation with them. There's, it depends on your soul path. If that's meant to happen, then that will happen. But what I'm seeing is this is about when you fully know that's the right person, that is going to be your person. Like any connection where you have to debate, you have to force it. You're constantly putting in the effort where they're not. That's not a connection. That is just basically like disconnection, if anything. So when you say yes, when you know it's a full on fuck yes in your body, you might feel a bit scared. But when you know it's a full on fuck yes in your body, that will be your partnership. And that will be the person you're sexually intimate with. And I don't see it being anything short term if you want it to be short term you are so welcome to do that I'm hearing so many options 
And it might be, you might even be somebody who wants more than one partner, you know, everyone's different. So I am seeing lots of different types of versions of, of a relationship here. So what I'm seeing is if you want, I, I feel like there's a very strong connection with some of you guys where you're gonna have this person's gonna be part of your career and you're both gonna work for yourself, but you're gonna be part of the same job. And you that's gonna be helping people to um, bring in tribes. You might actually, you know, call the people that follow you or people or your clients your tribe. And I see that the more you express your voice in any type of relationship, I'm talking friendships, family, everything, it's getting you so damn comfortable with asserting your power. And especially with my females who have been basically, feminine energy has basically been dragged down to shit the past thousands of years. Our feminine energy is so damn important. And even my males, you guys have feminine energy too. Our feminine energy is so fucking important. It's just, it's so needed for you guys to like make sure you're getting exactly what you want out of a relationship. Stop putting yourself on the back burner. Like stop crossing rivers, stop crossing rivers where people would just cross puddles for you, okay? When you start recognizing that, take it as that is not the right person for me, okay? So you're gonna get a shit ton of intuitive hits around this relationship. Like I said, sixth sense, I'm getting crown chakra, lots of purple. So purple is gonna be so important in this relationship. Like your man's or your woman's might be wearing purple. Um, you might buy purple underwear and then you suddenly meet your man. It's like, I'm picking up, some of you guys might visit like a, um, like an, maybe in an online shop, but I'm seeing like a, a physical shop. You might suddenly feel the need to buy loads of like, no sex toys or underwear, or you might suddenly feel the need to like shave <laughs> if you haven't done that for a long time. There's this like sudden urge to get your sexual needs in place. And it might be, an, it's most likely gonna be emotional. It's gonna drip into the physical as well. Um, you might suddenly create this gorgeous kind of, you might have suddenly have this like whoa feeling in your um you know your groin area after like masturbation or something like there's a big revelation around your sex life and it's mainly you like it's you who is making this come to life really so what i'm seeing is taking it slowly is going to be very very important and expressing yourself is 100 percent the most important thing I feel like I'm hearing you need to look for someone who's creative. So someone who embraces their creativity. Um, and this is anything. When I say creativity, music, art, um, a public speaker, a teacher, like someone who doesn't stop themselves from embracing their true potential because that's going to be dangerous if you go with somebody who's not fully in their potential because you're going to be pulled down and you don't want that, especially with all the stuff you've been through. You don't need that anymore. So anytime you get uncomfortable and you're thinking, oh, I'm never going to meet someone, make sure to fill up your cup, like focus on you, do something that makes you feel fun, maybe even take a nap if you're tired, like just do the things that fill up your cup because the last thing you want to do is wait for somebody because, you know, it's not going to help, <laughs> it's not going to make the person come any quicker. So your card, oh, sexy, the back is like a real big thing for you guys. So I am picking up on strong strong earth sign qualities um the person i'm picking up on feels like a virgo aquarian capricorn taurus person um they have long dark hair uh they have quite pale skin um for some of you guys of course it's not for everyone but they do feel european so they will most likely be quite pale because europe european people are normally quite pale this is coming from somebody who's british and i am pale as fuck so it's definitely somebody who's quite pale um they could tan you know for some of you guys depending on the sort of ethnicity in their background i am seeing they have parents from two different backgrounds uh, or two different countries doesn't have to be you know can be the same country but it feels like different countries feel like somebody is more tanned and somebody is more pale um so that could also be the partnership you both have too this orange color is really making me feel like you feel safe in the connection like it feels like safety and comfort and just feeling really good and you are somebody who's letting go of perfectionism and that is going to be the best thing you can do in this relationship so when it comes to this partnership you can expect a lot of big changes in your life to do with your money your relationship to yourself friends just basically everything because it's going to solidify uh, this it's going to help this partnership to come into play basically so there's a lot of back stuff can you see how she's arching her back a lot of the time that's a feeling of um, you can sexually express yourself freely which is so good so the next person you're going to be intimate with is taller than you 
they're muscly as fuck. If they're a woman, they're still quite muscly. Um, they have, of course, facial hair if they're a man. <laughs> um, but I do feel like some of you guys, if it's a woman, they will most likely have a little bit of facial hair, especially most likely if they have darker hair, they will have uh, facial hair. I'm seeing um, a black haired woman and dark brown haired woman, and I'm seeing a dark brown black haired guy as well. So there's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of light hair going on in this group. Also, if I say anyone you're not like super attracted to, then this might not even be your group. So just take it as a resonance, guys. This is a general reading, so you just got to take it as you uh, as you hear it. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch it. You know, it's up, completely up to you. Okay, so I'm just seeing so much travel, so much feeling comfortable. Like you guys are going to be. Oh, wow. Your friends are going to be like, where the fuck did you find this person? <laughs> They're like, I want one. You might even be sharing your sex life with your friends, like not like that I mean like <laughs> I mean like expressing it to them like oh my god they're so amazing in bed they're so comfortable like they're so loving and like your friends are going to be really supportive of you you're not going to be around people that are manipulative like you're not going to be around any friends that are jealous and you have dealt with a shit ton of jealousy like I don't know if you've realized it might have been quite subtle but you've dealt with a shit ton of jealousy and it's all to do with the heart chakra like you're very open-hearted and people are very scared of that all right, so Knight of Cups. Your person's already around you, by the way, like energetically matching up with you because what you've done is you've opened up a door. So there might have been a conversation you've had with somebody. You might be feeling like, oh, wow, I was really like kind of open in that conversation or I've had a lot of heart chakra stuff going on. It's because it's now time for this person to uh, come into your life quite soon. And like I said, 10 months, I'm feeling 10 months time. So seven of wands, three of wands, 10 of wands, seven of pentacles, four of wands in the start. There's a lot of masculine energy. You've got so many wands. So you might have a streak of like being around loads and different people. Uh, I'm seeing like lots of penises because <laughs> I'm loads of wands. So you might have been with four guys, uh, obviously if you're attracted to men, if just t change the gender of whoever you're attracted to. You might have been with four guys before meeting this person um, sexually. And I'm seeing that the way you relate to relationships is 100% changing. Like you're no longer feeling like you're scared of the commitment because when you're when we have a fear of commitment, it's because we feel like we're responsible for that person and you're not doing that anymore. So what I'm seeing is there's a lot of like sitting on the lap situation here. There's a lot of booty action. So you might like this person's booty. They're going to love your booty. They're going to love it. Um, <laughs> Okay, some of you guys, if you have a hairy booty, like I'm just hearing, like shave it if you want to, because I'm just seeing this person not a fan of hairy booty. So if you're not a fan either, go for it, girl. Of course, this is for you. Like, so don't do what your partner tells you to do. Like, this is your life. But I'm seeing like a hairy booty and it's not making me happy. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so there's a lot of wands, there's a lot of pentacles and the star is like, okay, this, you are their star. So like when they see you, they're like, holy fuck, I need to be with this person. Um, the intimacy is going to be very private. You're going to be around this person's home a lot. You're going to be away from home when you're with this person. So you're not, you're going to be more in their house than you will be in yours. Um, there's a, you're going to meet them most likely in the winter time. You're going to be in, at night time a lot. And that's probably why we have winter. Uh, obviously, depending on what country you're from, I'm just seeing the night time is a lot of darkness. So, of course, when it's, when it's winter, normally it's quite dark. So, um, so that's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm hearing like Northern Hemisphere. I'm pretty sure England is in the Northern Hemisphere, which is why we get darker nights. So, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Um, I feel like you guys are really grounded. You're very happy in this relationship and you're really including your friends in the friendship, in the relationship, like your friends are hanging out with this guy and they're like, damn, he's sexy as fuck. Like he's really attractive. Um, and this, the star is making me feel like you are, you're, you do have your guard up, but you are really into this person. Like there's a lot of cover up, like you're trying to cover yourself up, but then this person, this person's massive encouragement, like their words, uh, their words are very beautiful. Like the, what they tell you, what they say to you is, is very beautiful and it makes you feel really confident. Um, there's somebody who's going to big you up. They're going to be your biggest cheerleader. Uh, they love your boobs as well. Of course, if you're a woman. Um, and I feel like chest area is super like important, the chest and the, and the muscles and the torso, that's going to be a real significance. Um, if you're a guy and you're going to have a woman on you, this is the woman's going to like touch the torso. I'm seeing like a woman's hand and it's running over like the abs. And that's could be you if you're the woman in this connection. I feel like 
there's a lot of nature around you guys. This person's really interested in nature. The frog is your omen, but there's a lot of reptiles. So we have like the little salamander here or gecko, and then we have a frog. The frog to me represents um, immersing yourself in emotions because I have a card in this animal deck that has a frog and it's got like water all over it. Uh, it's like fully immersing itself. So, and we do have this Aquarian card of the star with um, this, like she's pouring water on him. There's a lot of things being dripped on each other and you're gonna be doing sex, you're gonna be having sex in nature a lot, a lot. Like you probably won't be inside a lot, <laughs> but you will be away from your home a lot and it's gonna be a lot of traveling involved. There's not a long distance relationship, which for some of you guys can be really glad of, but there is a lot of like, um, you might suddenly want to work from home. Like you might suddenly feel like I don't want to work in this company anymore. That's why I'm feeling because you're traveling. You're thinking I can't work where I am anymore. I want to work for myself. And that's why I'm feeling when you meet this person, they're going to encourage you and help you to live your best life. And you might suddenly take the plunge to work somewhere new or yeah, something like that. Okay, so what do you want to do? Okay, so let's clear these away. Your hair might suddenly grow really long as well because you are taking care of yourself. And the last thing you wanna do is not take care of yourself just because you're in a relationship. Like a lot of people think that a relationship is like the most important thing in the entire world. Connections are, yeah, unconditional love is in, extremely important, but we're here to experience all type of relationships. And if um, one person is just fulfilling that need, then there needs to be, there needs to be more like friendships around as well. Um, because a lot of the time we just want tribes, we want tribal energy. And if we're kind of feel a bit disconnected, we might be really craving that connection, you know? Okay. So waxing and waning crescent moons are going to be significant. You could meet this person on a waxing and waning crescent. It's the start of something new. We're hearing the start of something new from High School Musical. And it's like, there's definitely, this is, this feels brand new. Um, it's fucking exciting. <laughs> so you're going to try not to be overwhelmed by it because it's so exciting and you're going to be so creative in your sex life. Oh my God. Play, fun, Leo, excitement. Really, 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 really fun. And you could, this person could easily be a Venus, Mars, Aquarius, Capricorn or just Capricorn, Aquarius, uh, Sun. Okay. So where are you in this relationship right now? Actually, sorry, where are you right now? Not in the relationship. Lovely. Oh, you guys are doing good. The dragonfly is a lovely one. You're really experiencing a lot of spiritual synchronicities at the moment. Um, so you can guarantee that you're pretty close to this connection. Okay. And you could experience some friendships before being in this relationship. Lovely. So you could be really powerfully in your fire energy, especially if you're an air fire person. So that's how you're going to come into the relationship. And like I said, six cents has passed. This uh, tiger's got a uh, moon. And then this is your person right now. So your person's going for a lot. And I did pick up on reptiles for this group. So in the relationship, they're trying to hide themselves, but they're also shedding their skin. So it's quite a hard time for them at the moment, but they're very, very stable. This person is a, a full on father figure or mother figure. Like they are really, really gentle. They understand children really well. They're really good with anything to do with like biology. So, you know, some people can be scared of like seeing a person like giving birth or blood or something like that. They don't care. They're really open to anything. Like they can see like, yeah, it's natural, like periods. Like some guys don't know about periods. And I'm like, why? Like it's so natural. And I get it because society completely just like throws it out the window, something that has to be covered up. But like it's things like periods, like this person's just open about it, you know? And um, yeah, it's like anything natural, they're fully for it. And the relationship, beautiful really expressive really letting you both just express yourself okay lovely let's get some dice how are you going to meet this person okay we have the oh my god we have the eighth house of intimacy i mean probably a, a very very sexual connection i don't think you hear that car horn but that was very loud that made me jump actually um, okay, so we have Sagittarius, 8th house, Neptune. So like I said, extremely psychic, um, very Scorpionic relationship, very Pisces relationship. Um, so there's not going to be any ignoring of depth. There's going to be, it's going to be really deep, lots of travel, lots of exploration. One of you could have, could speak various different languages and picking up one of you guys speaks three languages. Um, and one of you is very worldly. One, your, your person you're going to meet is going to be just really, really open. And you're most likely going to meet them um, through an app not a dating app, um, some sort of app to do with languages or something like that, an app or through a friend, there's something there. And it's definitely to your spiritual side. So I feel like the more you embrace that, the that's your kind of pathway to meeting them. It's basically like exploring yourself. 
So that is your reading, guys. Rates and my crystal shop are below, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose the Rose Quartz Heart. So, guys, you guys are definitely the lovers of the groups. Um, you are really in your Venus energy. You might be really Venus ruled, Libra ruled. Taurus ruled something like that and I'm picking up your reading really your Neptunian energy at the moment so you're very very you're feeling very psychic or you're getting a lot of synchronicities and I'm picking up you're very present in your body which is really good so before we get into the intimacy and things like that I want to just look at your energy and what you're going through and things like that any advice around your love life and then we'll look into the person I like to kind of pick up on the person's energy I'm reading for first Okay, so let's get you some love advice. And if anything pops out about your next person you're going to be with, then that's great. Oh, yay, I love this play. Beautiful. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Imrama, where are you being called to journey to? So beautiful. Okay, I have so much to say already. Um, okay, so this one. Conservation. Make conscious choices emerging i heard that as in i read that as empowerment actually emerging take a leap of faith we have planning groundwork blueprints and preparation and then we have the bear you are the light okay let's spread these out a little bit all righty so what i'm feeling is you are definitely growing very rapidly um you're maturing rapidly and the best thing you to do is not take things so seriously when it comes to being patient about having a relationship, it's not the end of the world if you're not in a relationship right now because you don't want to force a connection. Like the last, the last thing you want to do, like relationships are meant to be fun and they're meant to be, you know, you need to be quite responsible really to be in a good relationship because you're with another person, you know what I mean? So I feel like with the emerging and take a leap of faith, this is about, ooh, nice. This is about letting someone see your heart. You are somebody who's most likely been in relationships or connections where it's always been physical stuff first. And this is gonna be a different type of relationship where you are fully in a connection. This is an actual romantic relationship. This isn't somebody who just wants you for your vagine or your peen and you know it's gonna be all over and done with. This is gonna be somebody who has been is worth the wait and there's somebody that you're meant to be with. There's somebody who is fully in their heart chakra and fully, fully ready to be with you. So I'm seeing that you've waited a very long time to be in a relationship. I do see this person being a long-term partnership. I am seeing you maybe doing like one night stand for a little bit if you want to, but honestly, it is about making conscious choices. So if that's not something that makes you feel good, then don't do it. Like don't, feel the need to pressure yourself just because you're single. Like being single is fucking fun. Like you can do so many things and you can do so many things in a relationship. There's really not that much difference. The only difference is there's somebody there with you. So when you're in a, when you're in a relationship where you feel fully safe, there's no worries about if this is the right connection. You're not worrying about like, hey, what do I have to do? How do I get them to like me? Like, if you have to get someone to like you, they're not really a good partnership, are they, you know? So what I'm seeing is you've got to step fully into your light and let people see all sides of you. And that is gonna be how you attract this person. I see you being single for a little bit and then being in a relationship. I don't see this person being a one night stand. The person I'm connected to now is someone who's been waiting for a relationship for about 10 years. Um, this could be you, this could be them. The person I'm seeing is like, they've waited so long and they're not in a rush. They really want to meet you. Like you probably know this person already on a psychic level. Like I don't think you've ever met this person physically, but you have spoken to them like in the realm. Like I'm seeing you've already had a conversation. You already know each other. You're basically already married. <laughs> um, so you are the light. It's safe to step fully into your light. And where are you called to be journey? Where are you being called to journey to? You are ready for a soul connection. You are ready for your tribe. You are ready for friends. You are ready for people that love you and for who you are. Your partnership, you're not gonna want to fully be into this person straight away. You like to have plans before you go into anything. So what I'm seeing is the plans are to get your career to a place where you feel successful, get your emotions to a place where you feel fully safe, and get your body to a place where your nervous system isn't outrageously uncomfortable all the time. Because if you're trying to avoid your nervous system, that's just gonna make you feel really 
really bad. So your nervous system is extremely important. If you've been through a lot of trauma, which most likely you have, most likely most people have, because um, our family is like our first port of karma, basically. You, your nervous system will kind of panic or get really, really excited with this person, whether they're whether it's through trauma or not. So you want to get your nervous system comfortable. It's kind of like I'm seeing. Um, this, uh, I get this message quite a bit actually the last couple of days like a compass so this is your inner compass like imagine just the compass is in your hands and it's dirty it's loads of dirt on it so how can you tell where you're going if there's loads of stuff on top of it that is basically what you're working with that is your inner compass and this your inner compass is how you're going to manifest or choose your partner if it's got loads of dirt or and stuff all over it you can't see where you're going so you've got to consciously make a choice to clear up those layers and then you can see where you're going and then you'll be like oh that is my person. That makes sense. Like, I feel like that's the right decision. Instead of being like, oh my God, I don't know who they are. Is this the right person? Is this somebody I should be around? Blah, blah, blah. That's why I try not to do readings about, you know, how they're feeling and stuff. Because at the end of the day, if you don't know how they're feeling, they're probably not the right person. Does that make sense? So that's kind of the main thing I'm feeling. And you guys are going to be so fucking happy with this person. Like, it's going to feel like, like you're living by yourself when you're with them. Because there's no harsh jagged stuff and it's gonna be i'm hearing so much laughing like you're gonna laugh so much because you're gonna feel really free there's a sense of freedom and you're gonna create a, uh, a family with this person like blood related so you're gonna have babies because a family doesn't have to be blood related by the way it can be a tribe um but this is all about your path so this is about what you want to give to the world right now and for your gifts this is going to be what this is what okay this is going to be what your person wants you to do anyway so you better start it now because <laughs> that's going to be how you meet your person it's like you want to be a really empowered person you know you want to be a really empowered feminine or a really empowered masculine so you want to be in charge of your own choices like you want to be able to choose for yourself so when it comes to being empowered that is going to be the main thing your person loves about you because they love that that's a very sexy quality if you're confident People are attracted to you and your confidence. So if you're confident, this person's going to be like, damn, okay, okay. And they might like to write down stuff a lot. They might be a journalist. They might be um, an author. I'm hearing books. I'm hearing books, books, books. So they might even work in a bookshop. They love books. Um, anything to do with kind of mystery or fantasy. They love all that shit. They just lap it up. So your intimacy with this person. Two of pentacles. All right, so you will, this is going to be a little bit of a mystery when you are with this person. It's going to be like, is, is this the right one? Like, okay, is this time now, girl? Is it time now, universe? Yes. Yes, it will be time. But it is going to, it's going to be a couple of months before you're fully intimate with this person. All right. So you're going to date this person for a while. I hate the word date and I don't know why. I just don't like it. <laughs> Anyone else feel that way? Because dating's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but... There's something about it, it's like, just think of it as you're getting to know this person, okay? So you're getting to know this person, and, okay, you're, there's people around you who you haven't been around for a while, so there's some old people from the past and exes and things that may or may not pop up, okay? Because your energy is fucking magnetic, like your ex is going to be like, I want you back, babes, <laughs> and you're going to be like, fuck off, babes, <laughs> leave me alone, um, so that's why this person's behind this girl. It's like, okay, so I feel as if this person's very mature. They're a lot older than you. They have strong facial hair, thick hair, ginger. Uh, I'm hearing all the hair colors, ginger, blonde, black hair. Um, and that's for both genders as well. This person is quite competitive. They're quite fiery. They're quite strong Aries in, in their chart. Um, there's somebody when you're physical with them you're kind of rough housing like you like tackle each other that's going to be possibly how you start getting physical you and this person are both really gentle so you, it's really hard for you both one of you to assert yourself one of you is going to assert yourself on the other person when it comes to physical things but both of you are really patient with each other like someone's a bit too patient so if one of you is, you're going to go in and out of being the, the more masculine. So both, oh, every person has masculine feminine energy. But both of you are going to go in and out. So if you are going to be with a male and you're a female, the male's quite feminine, but he is, he is connected to his masculine side. He's very, very gentle, really earthy, uh, artistic, 
is very deep, um, is very gentle, loves being around. He said, I'm hearing I love women. And I don't want this to say like they're kind of like, you know, yucky and you know, just use women. When, when some men say they love women, they don't love women. They just love the thought of women and they love the physical ability of like having a woman around them. That's not this person. This person appreciates women. They love women. They love being around fe females and feminine energy. Um, so I'm also feeling like this, this person, like you feel like you've had to tackle a lot of your relationships. You've had to kind of force them into submission and you've always felt very distant from the connection, but it's that, that's, this is in the past. Like this is no, this is a no-go area now. So I am hearing between February and July. So this is a timeless reading. So I'm picking up between hmm, one to five months. There's going to be a big shift and by about a latest, a year, or 10 months you could be in a in you could know this person so we have the lovers which is really beautiful i don't really kind of vibe with the two women and the one guy but i am picking up on a union and it, there's a lot of love there and what i'm what i'm finding quite fascinating is the love that you feel with this person is going to be really real and it's going to be so raw and authentic it's going to freak you out a little bit because you've never had that before um the the boobs on this girl is like what girl so like the boob area is going to be very like emphasized this man loves boobs this, pe this person loves boobs they love your boobs if you're a woman um they love your hips i'm seeing like this person grabbing the hips and like grinding that kind of thing a lot of oral sex like there's a very equal oral sex vibe like it's not going to be like you know the guy uh does his thing and then the that's, that's the end of it that's not real that's like porn like you know that's not real so the woman and the man are both having equal equality it's really lovely and you're gonna have sex so much i'm hearing like three to seven times a day and it might not even be seven times it might just be like seven hours like you're in bed for seven hours and you're just you're completely immersed in this connection like i really feel that so babies will be very early because you're intimate a lot so just if you don't want kids at that time, make sure there's contraception and things in place to kind of protect you from that. Because um, of course you want a baby as conscious as possible. So your person's going to love your body. Like it's going to be weird for you because you haven't had that type of attention before. So it's going to be like, oh, okay, girl, you're okay. <laughs> um, they love cooking. They love cooking for you. And when it comes to the intimacy, they're shirtless a lot. <laughs> like their physique is beautiful. They love working out. They go to the gym or they work out at home a lot. They're a homebody. They have their own house. They have their own car. They, I'm seeing all the amenities, like things that are kind of like, you know, things you probably want in a person. I'm seeing their own car, their own house. Um, they have monies. They have security. They have a job they really like. I'm hearing, why haven't I met you sooner? And then you're like, I don't know. Like we should have met sooner. <laughs> um, both of you are really really friendly with each other there's not like oh my god i've met my person it's so amazing i love this so much and it's like disgusting trauma like it's nothing like that you just are like you're really nice like do you want to like hang out sometime yeah all right then like it's really chill like it's not like oh my god you're so sexy and you're putting this person above you you know i can't stand that <laughs> like i really can't stand that and that is not what's going to happen here so yeah it feels lovely i'm keep getting the heart i'm here seeing this person drawing a heart and if you do have children there's probably going to be one to three children going on there so i'm sorry there wasn't too much intimacy wise guys but sometimes it just is like that with groups it just depends um what spirit wants to tell me and things like that so let's have a look at their astrology So for a lot of you guys who ask um, where these cards are from, they're from a website called Labyrinthos. So Labyrinthos, it's a very strange kind of name, but um, yeah, that's where they're from, from Labyrinthos. And they are the astrology deck. Okay, lovely. Oh my God, you are meant to be with this person. It, it's just like, wow no wonder you guys are craving a connection and you're very venusy like no wonder it's because you're literally meant to be this person oh my god the full moons and, and the solar eclipse is like wow you want to meet this person on, on a full moon i'm picking up on either a pisces aquarius or capricorn full moon you're going to meet this person very earthy very much about transformation they they can tell you've done the transformation and you've and they've done it too 
and they're like you're both easily able to talk about stuff this person's so curious about your past they're like so what have you been through what sort of people have you kind of like been with you know what's it been like they're so interested they are and it's gonna be really weird because you might have not ever had that before um they have very strong values in relationships this is the ultimate relationship that you're gonna have and it's gonna be like a uh it's gonna feel whole it's gonna feel really really whole so uh, where are you guys right now? The unicorn. So a lot of spirituality and the firefly. Lovely. You're finally finding your light, your purpose, things like that. Where are you in this relationship? Who are you in this connection? I don't like those two. That's not the right one. Let's go again. Okay. So I want, okay, I want this one underneath. I keep pulling it out to me, so... The turtle and the tiger, whoa, okay. So there's a lot of, um, you're feeling really in the flow. In the flow, feeling really empowered, that's great. Where's your person right now? We have the vulture. We have the nightingale, lovely. So this person's really fine in their voice, um, having a very strong connection to opinions and values. And in the relationship, oh wow beautiful really spiritual can we get one more please lovely oh my god they are like otherworldly they're like a witch or a wizard <laughs> okay and then we have the rabbit very very sensitive soul both of you are just you're so unconditionally loving and finding someone who's also unconditionally loving is like the thing the one yeah i mean the most spiritual connection really the crow is one of my spiritual omens in this deck so i love that all right, last one. How are you going to meet them? Any information on meeting them or anything like that? Wow. Okay, I might clarify this. So we have the Aquarius, the Seventh House and Neptune. Capricorn, Eighth House, Neptune. Wow. It's going to be when you're a part of something, when you feel like you're a part of something. Uh, it could be a community, um, a purpose, a career. Um, it could be you start a project, you feel like you're back in your body again. It's something to do with that. So I'm not really getting any information. They've kind of gone silent on me, but I do, I am concentrating on the seventh and the eighth house. It does feel you're both getting really intimate with each other. Um, of course, because this is about intimacy, but it's like it's intimate emotionally. Like your relationships are matching up with what you want. Like you're finally getting that. But I can guarantee you this person is very spiritual. So if that's somebody you want, then that's going to be somebody you get. And they really listen to you. Like they, they really like, they have been the empath of narcissists and you have been the empath of narcissists. And you're just joining up really easily. It's lovely. I just feel like it's a, some sort of, like it's gonna be really fated. Like you're not gonna expect, oh, this is where I'm gonna meet my man. Like it's gonna be like really fated, a woman. So have a lovely day. I'm hearing independence is key because Aquarians are very independent. So getting that independence in your relationship is key and recognizing that you're a step into your power in relationships, like really letting people know where your boundaries are because people won't know unless you tell them, okay? So get very transparent. This is beautiful. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose the citrine. I'm picking up on a lot of masculine energy in this group. So there's a lot of quite like masculine uh, people. So you could be a masculine female or a masculine male. There's a sense of like, it's quite practical, quite a practical connection. All right, so we're gonna have a look into your love life first, your energy, and then we'll see who this person is and things like that. Cause I wanna like connect to you and who you are and things like that. Alrighty, let's go. We have, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? A lot of you guys are in between jobs at the moment. Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewrite in the future. Yeah, a lot of you guys are putting a lot of emphasis on career. So that's probably why your, like your self-esteem is quite low at the moment. Okay, we have air. New ideas can be formulated freely when intellect meets discussion. Logical, curious, and social. We then have grounding, put that there, grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Success, believe in yourself and dare to dream big. And then we have army of life. Ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. This is the group that struggles with um, kind of asking for help. You're very independent. 
So it's quite hard for you to ask for help and picking up on the fire signs of the group. So you're probably a fire sign or an earth sign. So I'm picking up, you see things quite logically, which can kind of cloud your vision on what's actually being presented to you. Um, there's a need for you to definitely open up your heart a little bit more uh, by being really kind to yourself and just not, not having to have everything so perfect. Like perfectionism is in the eye of the beholder, so not everything is perfect. Your person is going to understand you at a level that... It's going to trigger you a little bit because there's still a little bit of healing you're going to go through as you're going to meet this person. Like this person's going to open you up more. It's going to help you to take. They're going to help you to take off your armor and then some. <laughs> um, but I feel like it's going to be a couple of years for you guys. Like it's not going to be yet. And of course, timing is so random. So it could be a month, but it's going to be a couple of years because there's definitely some. There's definitely an awakening that needs to happen for you guys. Like there's definitely a lot of ancestral healing that needs to happen. Um, so you're probably going to be with somebody who I think if you wait it out, there's, it's going to be a romantic partner that you're going to be with. Um, if you want to have sex with random people or anyone, really, you 100% can do that. There's no shame there. It's about exploring your body. But if it doesn't feel good, it's probably not the right thing to do. All right. I'm here. Don't use sex as a distraction because it's just going to make you feel crappy. So I'm seeing focusing on your career first, finding out what sort of career is right for you, what suits you, getting you logical stuff first. So getting that sorted out first, and then that's going to be the second thing or the third thing is going to be your partnership uh, or this person being intimate with you. That's going to be what's happened. So this is a very intimate connection. You might have intimacy from the first time meeting them or the second time meeting them, or you might have like a little, I'm picking up like a secret a secret love affair in the office like I'm seeing like some of you guys being physically intimate like in a cupboard or I mean, a closet or something like because you're not allowed to date your co-workers that's some of you guys but honestly if this is something that you you really really like this person you like what their values are and things like that I do see this person being really authentic but if you ever feel like somebody in your life is not giving you what you value or they're not you know, meeting you halfway, that's probably not a relationship there. It's probably something coming from trauma, all right? So healing your patterns around letting yourself be recognized, like um, expanding your energy, expanding your aura. Like a lot of you guys are really creative, but you don't allow yourself to go there because it's scary. And you've got to go there. You've got to go there if you want to like initiate your full potential. Like where are you dimming in your, your light in relationships, in any, any relationship, family, friends, co-workers anyone you work with professionally where are you dimming your light to fit in and is this career right for you is this something you really want to do you know it's really like this is a i'm hearing you guys are the explorers you guys have got to try a couple of things out before it before it feels right because there's still a couple of experiences i'm feeling you need to have but you're definitely not putting yourself first so really try to remember like okay well what am I going to get out of this conversation like making sure you're expressing yourself but also getting really in your body not everything has a logical answer okay love is not logical me if it's unconditional it's beautiful but it's not always logical so if you ever feel like uncomfortable with anything ask for help seek support and maybe the person you do seek support from could be your future partner you never know okay so Let's have a look at the intimacy for you guys. There's going to be a lot of communication. There's going to be a lot of phone calls, a lot of texts between you two. And you may most likely meet through work, I'm seeing. All right. So let's get you your intimacy. So I feel like I need to want to have a look at this again. New ideas can be formulated too freely when intellect meets discussion. That's why I'm feeling like you're going to meet your person in a professional setting. Yeah, I feel like the pink's so pretty against the blue. I love that. Um, curious and social. Yeah, it's definitely going to be in like a career place. Like it's somewhere that is professional. Like you're not meant to be doing it, but you are because you're like, damn, this person's sexy as fuck. All right. We have the hermit. Wow. So if you're not feeling like if you want to feel like you have into okay, words, Vicky, if you want to have intimacy, but you haven't got anyone around you, that is because you're not meant to. Like that's your part. That's basically what it's saying in this card. So you probably look at couples and you're like, oh, they have such a perfect relationship, things like that. No one has a perfect relationship. I know a lot of people say this, but honestly, wouldn't you rather be happy by yourself than with someone who's shitty? So you might be in a love situation right now and thinking, oh, you know, maybe Vicky's going to tell me that this is my man's or my woman's. Honestly, if you if you keep from this is coming from personal, you know, experience. If you keep searching for an answer and a reason to why this is the right relationship, it's not. It's not. 
if you want confirmation and you're trying to get it from like omens and numbers and you're like, oh, I keep seeing one on one, but it's like a really toxic relationship. If this person that you're dealing with can't even contact you and have a conversation with you, then they're not a relationship. Why would you want to start a relationship without having a conversation? So that is why I feel like you guys are a bit disconnected at the moment, which is why I feel like being single right now is so, so, so important because your values are all over the place. I feel like they're kind of splattered onto a, onto a white canvas and you can't grab anything like because you're in a process of healing like you're not fully there yet all right so the hermit is basically saying the intimacy is going to be very private and you're both quite professional um even though you're having sex in a closet <laughs> all right so we have the king of swords both of you are very logical um i am picking up like i said a lot of earth a lot of uh, fire and no yeah fire earth air there's not a lot of water going on here both of you are so wanting to avoid intimacy. Like, I'm just going to be really blunt. Like, you both are really wanting to avoid. So if this is not the right group for you, then just take it as a resonance. This is a general reading. So feel free to click off whenever you, you need. Okay, you've dealt with... Oh, right. So you guys have attracted a lot of angry partners. People who are so angry with life, but they never want to improve it. So you're going to want to not be around those people. Um, you want to get comfortable with being by yourself and being in your own energy. And the death card is like, look how sexy I am. So the best thing you want to do is go deep as fuck, as deep as possible within you. What are the, why do you keep attracting unemotional guys? Why do you keep attracting unemotional women? Most likely because you're scared of the intimacy because you never had that. So you got to look at what is causing me to attract this. And I'm feeling like some people have had fetishes and you're like, I don't really want to do that, but I feel obliged to do it. So you're not doing that anymore. Like, just don't even surround yourself with people like that. So, King of Wands, finding your center. You're going to be with somebody who has a big penis or a big booty um, and lots of hair. This person has a very strong, uh, thick facial hair. The woman, uh, curly or large, quite large hair, like large frizzy hair or curly hair. Uh, and by the way, curly and frizzy are completely different things, guys. Like, this is coming from a curly, girly hair gal. So if anyone says that you have frizzy hair and it's curly, tell them to leave. <laughs> okay, the amount of times people say, oh, you have frizzy hair. I'm like, no, girl, it's curly. Like, get it right, okay? I will know my hair is frizzy and it's when I brush it. <laughs> All right, so this King of Wands, they're manly as fuck. Like, if you want a man, they're manly as fuck. Like, really manly. When I say manly just masculine, really driven, strong sex drive, tall, muscly, um, protector, okay? That is the relationship between you and this person. If you are thinking of a woman, they're, they are quite masculine as a woman as well. Um, they do have strong feminine qualities, but they are quite masculine. The, okay, this person loves your boobs. You love their boobs, depending on the gender. And I'm just seeing like, there's not, okay, they're not giving me a lot of intimacy. They're not showing me a lot. But what I am seeing is there's a lot of boobage going on. There's a lot of like sitting, talking, under the covers kind of vibe. There's a lot of observing. And I'm picking up that you don't want to be around people who just use you. You're going to start to realise who the people are that you want to be around. And the intimacy that you have with this person, when you do have it, the next person you're going to meet is going to be full on. And... If you're somebody who tries to hide that from yourself, you might not be at the right stage of being with this person because this person is very intense. And if you're scared of the intensity, it's going to be quite a hard connection. So I'm seeing you've got to go through this death process right now and really realize that you are fucking powerful and you can do anything and you can attract anyone you want, okay? Um, I'm picking up on the color peach. So that could mean something in your relationship, I feel. And I'm picking up a lot of hair. Both of you shared a lot of hair. Um, this person's quite thick uh, chest hair. As a woman, uh, their hair is quite thick. But for some of you guys, their hair is like non-existent because they're quite fine hair. So just take it as it resonates. I'm seeing lots of different types of people here. I'm just seeing a lot of like expression. Like it's gonna start off with your career and then it's gonna come into your love life. So getting comfortable with finding what career suits you and not abandoning yourself and going backwards. That's what you're looking for. It's going to start off practically. That's kind of where I'm getting. So I'm sorry, guys, that I didn't get a lot of intimate messages, but that's just, honestly, I can't force them. So that's kind of all I'm getting really for you guys. But you will have a strong amount of sex with this person. It's going to be really gorgeous. And they're very, they're very strong and muscly. So if you are quite a small, petite person, it's probably like best to have this person next to you because they're very muscly if this is if it's a guy especially very muscly all right let's get you some astrology cards 
fourth house you are at home a lot this person is a homebody they're working on their family and uh karma at the moment they're going to move house they have their own mortgage um or they rent but they have their own home they're very responsible there's somebody who's always worked a lot of their life um there's somebody who may have children uh one or two kids and pick up a lot of boys like i said there's a lot of masculine in this group um and they could be a leo leo is a very powerful sexual uh zodiac sign so but be careful with Leo, if you have Leo, is not to force love, not to force things to happen. I know you guys can be very impatient, but it's not worth it. Um, and that may be why you haven't met this person, because you're still working on yourself here. This is your person here as well. They're kind of, the more they use their experiences to help people, that's going to give them a lot more money. And same with you guys. You have strong experiences that you can help people with. It's going to expand you and who you are. So let's have a look and see where you are right now. Okay, so you're unraveling. You are struggling to kind of transform at the moment, but it's just taking one step at a time and not shaming yourself. Lovely. So a lot of you guys want to avoid the intimacy, but you've got to be careful that you're not sabotaging it because you don't feel worthy. It's really about your worthiness. You're going to go into this relationship full on. A very fiery connection. Really fucking fiery. Passionate as fuck. Yep. Your person also transforming. They're doing it a lot quicker than you, but that's because they are either a lot older than you or it's just their, it's just their time to do it basically but they're going for it um okay so when they're in the relationship this person's going to help you to connect to your heart as well where you've struggled to beautiful so they're going to basically show up as themselves not judging who they are not judging their qualities because a lot of people don't like tarantulas so they're used to that they're just kind of just being themselves and they're showing up in their career full on as well okay what's the relationship The hawk, lovely. So much exploration. Both of you are very observant. You're, you're both really observant. So if you ever find this person in your life, which I do feel like you will, you'll know when the right time is to approach them. Okay. So last thing, let's see how you're going to meet this person. I'm hearing policewoman, police woman, policeman. Um, some of you guys might be in the uh, in the police. Uh, you might be a fireman. You might be in ambulances or something like that. Um, and also how you're going to meet this person is through extreme amounts of transformation emotionally. Um, like I said, you're going to be changing your career, Taurus and second house, all about career, money, income values. Your values are going to change. And it's all about like really coming back to your life. Like this is your life. This is what you really want. So when you are possibly through a Saturn return or a really big transformation, you're going to be with this person and you're going to be a different career you've never been in before so it's going to ask you to be courageous about it and be confident so have a lovely day i hope that resonated with you guys and i'll speak to you very soon rates and my crystal shop are below and i'll speak to you soon bye